Our top story this lunchtime, Samsung Group's chairman, Egan He, died at the age of 78 on Sunday after spending six years in hospital. Ever since, he suffered a massive heart attack back in 2014. A four-day funeral is being held at the Samsung Medical Center in Seoul. For more on this, we connect to our Bae Eun-ji, who is outside of that medical center. Eun-ji, just tell us about what you're seeing there. Mark, I'm standing in front of the Samsung Medical Center in Seoul, where Samsung Group's chairman Lee Gon Hee died on Sunday morning. The hospital's funeral hall is currently packed with reporters as politicians and former and current presidents of Samsung's affiliates have come to pay their respects. As well as Samsung executives, Jung Lee-sun, the chairman of Hyundai Motor Group, also visited the funeral hall just an hour ago. Several politicians, including the Democratic Party leader Lee nak have expressed their condolences as well. President Moon Jae-in sent a floral tribute and a message of condolence to Lee's family, saying that the late chairman's innovative leadership has inspired South Korean corporations today as they work hard to overcome the hardship during the COVID-19 pandemic. Lee's death was also mourned by the International Olympics Committee, as he had been an IOC member for more than a decade. The IOC said Lee had made a great contribution to the Olympic movement and the success of the Olympic Games. Yeah, that's certainly right. And Samsung has reportedly said this is going to be a small funeral. Can you give us more details about how this funeral is going to be held? Sure, Mark. Lee's body was placed in a coffin this morning at 9 a.m. Samsung said the funeral will be held privately following the wishes of Lee and his family. The funeral is expected to be four days long, ending with Lee's burial on Wednesday, as the number of visitors will be limited to fewer than 50 people as a precaution amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Samsung Group has set up an online memorial hall via the company's internal system for the employees of Samsung. That's all I have at this hour. Back to you, Mark.